Welcome back to Barnes Basics. We are balancing chemical equations and this morning we are looking at iron sulfate mixed with barium chloride to form iron chloride and barium sulfate. It's just a classic exchange reaction where iron and chlorine pair and barium and sulfate pair up. When I look at formulas and equations that have metals and non-metals in them, I automatically want to do a tally of the oxidation numbers. Remember, on a periodic chart, metals are on the left, non-metals are on the right, Trans transition metals are in the middle. We know from memory <clears throat> that sulfate is negative 2. So if there are three of them, three times negative two is negative six. That would mean that the irons would have to total a plus six to make neutral. So two times plus three would be plus six. So we're seeing something different in this formula, formula in that we have the iron three variety. So if we wrote this, we would say that this is iron three sulfate. That's not necessarily the thrust of this video, naming compounds, but that's, that's how it's done. Chlorine is negative one because it's a halogen. It's in group 7A. Two times negative one makes negative two, and so that would by default mean that barium, since there's only one of them, would have to be plus two, which is confirmed it's in group 2A. Chlorine is minus one, three times minus one is minus three, iron is plus three. So we have it, this is not really a redox reaction where we have changed the amount of electrons around the irons, it's an exchange reaction. Sulfate is minus two and barium is plus two. So with that in mind, we can go ahead and balance the entire equation, I see two irons here, and I see one iron over here, so I am going to go ahead and put a coefficient in front of, of this iron. That also multiplies the chlorine, so that there are now six chlorines here. On the other side, there are two chlorines. So I think I'll put a three here, three times two is six, by doing this, I have then affected the bariums. So let's go back to the other side. There is one barium, so let's put a three here. There are three bariums and now three sulfates. If we go back to the other side, there are three sulfates. So that's kind of a nice and fun and easy chemical equation to balance. Marvelous. To review, we had two irons, two irons, three sulfates, three sulfates, three bariums, three bariums, three times two is six chlorines, two times three is six chlorines. Very, very good.